Uh, today we talk about positioning technologies and um, I like to start off this lecture with uh, actually with the misconception. You might have heard this term uh, triangulation uh, in different fields like you might have heard that police can be using it to find out where somebody is or you might have seen some uh, sci-fi movies or some kind of uh, shows where this term is used and it sounds very uh, scientific and they say that it is used to locate people and actually it is not it is used to measure distances from objects and I will give you a small example here let's say that you're on this side of the river and you want to measure how big how long the river is maybe you want to make up to build a bridge or something like that so, you want to know that distance, and we can call it x for now. Uh, but how can you measure it without crossing the river? Because you want to avoid doing that. So basically, you will uh, start to move in a direction that is perpendicular to this, uh, to this way. And you will measure, as you are moving in this direction, to see how... Uh, to see how many steps, let's say, that you are doing. And after that, you have this very simple uh, geometric situation that you might have done in, uh, in school where you know uh, the angle of a right, uh, right angle triangle and uh, you want to figure out what is the value of x when you know how many steps you did and you know the new angle that you are looking at. So this is quite basic stuff, it's, it's things that uh, you might remember now from school and um, does anybody know how to, how to solve this problem? <coughs> you have the third angle. You have the angle, right? You have 90, 60, Sorry. Yeah. 30. So anybody remember what is the tangent, tangent. of 60 degrees? I don't usually remember it myself, but I have this nice, uh, nice small book here. Of course, you can, you can calculate it also. But anybody knows? Root over three. Yes. How much is this approximately? One point seven three. Okay. But in this triangle, you also know that the tangent of this 60 degree angle is going to be x divided by 100, right? So basically, x divided by 100 is 1.73, so x becomes 173 meters in this example, without crossing the river. So this is what uh, what triangulation is useful for and you don't really learn where this boat is you just learn that it is uh, 173 meters away from your initial uh, viewing <coughs> point so you learn something about distances now this has been used in many 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 different uh, applications for example astronomers use it to uh, measure distance to stars. It is more or less the same thing, but they use the fact that the Earth is not stationary, the Earth moves in time. So they measure some kind of viewing um, angle at one point in time, and then again after maybe half a year when the Earth is as far away as it can get. And you can use that kind of information to infer um, distances. They, actually, this parallax is a bit more than that. If you ride on a train or, or in a car and you look out the window, you will see that the nearby things are moving very quickly, but the far away ones <coughs> almost appear to be standing still. And the more away you go, the less they seem to be moving. So this is actually what this is about. Okay, uh, last year 
we had uh, some students in Kuopio actually. They had a project, they made a, a project for this course where they were measuring the height of a building using exactly this idea. So they don't have to climb the building to, to, to measure it, but they use the angle that they are viewing uh, at the building. They were aiming their mobile phone at the top of the building, and then they were using something, some sensor inside the mobile phone to figure out uh, how much is this phone tilted. Like, is it straight or is it now uh, tilting at an angle? And then they were using GPS to measure, um, I think it was like this, I don't remember exactly their details, but um, I think they were measuring this using GPS. So they would take a location at the building or, or object and then move some kind of distance and then measure this angle and it's basically the same small equation that we had before. Now you might ask how does the phone know how to do this kind of, uh, this kind of stuff? And the truth is that inside the phone there are a bunch of sensors and you might know what this is and I hope I can start it without uh, making a fool of myself but uh, let's see okay so this is a gyroscope it basically is able to stay straight or keep a, a certain uh, orientation even if the box or whatever <coughs> is around it is going to change uh, to change its angle so one of these things but very 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 small is inside your mobile phone it's one of the sensors I believe it's called an accelerometer uh, it may be that the exact sensor is a combination of a gyroscope and more more things not just this kind of <coughs> this kind of stuff but anyway that's how it knows um, the direction that uh, that you are pointing your phone and I'm actually going to be teaching you how to uh, figure out these angles right now we're gonna do a small programming demo 